people's minds here last week, I brought up the idea of iCarly being that popular with the social interaction that after the show finishes up, I believe that fans are still going to be uploading their videos um, to the video sharing software that iCarly.com has had implemented. Do you think fans will still be visiting iCarly.com for the exclusive videos that will no longer be being produced and the ability to upload your own videos? I think Nickelodeon will keep the site up there as a bit of memorabilia and giving fans the chance who have never uploaded a video to iCarly.com to become socially active, which at times uh, can be very skeptical, but oftentimes it can also be very fun to do. Uh, it can also um, be very educational on times too, because using the internet uh, can also be looked at as a very positive thing, especially for young minds who are looking to expand in the way of obtaining a vast knowledge. Um, I think that you know we're still going to be seeing fans flocking to the website of iCarly, which receives millions of hits every day, perhaps more hits than any children's website on the internet today, uh, to be uploading their videos. And I also alluded to the fact that I believe that because of the popularity of the show, it was going to be brought back by popular demand. Now, the first um, idea that I bestowed in your minds is probably the most likely one to happen, and that was keeping the website open for uh, an additional several years to give you the opportunity to upload videos with a few restrictions put on the uploading uh, of videos. Uh, I can't see the show being brought back by popular demand, but it was definitely one of the most popular children's shows uh, of the last six to eight years, definitely, because that show produced more shows than probably any children's television show. It was definitely one of the longest-running uh, children's television shows. And one of the questions I kept asking uh, for the last several years is, when is this show ever going to end? And we finally got our answer. It's definitely going to be a reprieve for the cast members of the show who have been looking for an opportunity to break away from the gosh uh, they aren't so glad to be here type personalities they had to try to convey very difficultly on times um, through the program Nickelodeon I, I Carly, but I really think that uh, it's going to be great and eventually uh, after the few um, first few months and the novelty of the program has worn off I, I really think that we're going to see these stars receive a tremendous amount of positivity and perseverance. They're definitely going to persevere uh, through all of it. I personally would like to thank the cast of Mike Carly for giving us so many years of one thing, a, a lot of memories. You know, some of my favorite Mike Carly shows, the one that guest starred David Archuleta, The Plain White Tees, uh, the one with One Direction, which I recently saw earlier this year. I believe that was episode two or three of uh, Mike Carly season six. Um, you know, I, I just would like to thank them for so many memories, if anything, and I would like to apologize for referring to Miranda Cosgrove as someone who has been over-promoted. Something I want to put out uh, over our microphone is, do you believe that Miranda Cosgrove is what I was stating for the last at least 95 to 100 editions of HEW Entertainment Variety Radio? This is show edition 1187. And I've been describing Miranda Cosgrove for the last at least 95 to 100 shows as an over-promoted person who was taking away from what stars of Nickelodeon could have potentially been. Um, I would like to get your opinion on that, so you can leave us a comment here at the bottom of the YouTube video as we celebrate the final season of Mike Carly, going anywhere from six to seven seasons, producing well over 100 shows. Uh, you can also send me a tweet on Twitter at twitter.com slash JonathanClark1. You can even use the hashtag Miranda Cosgrove overpromoted if you want. And you can also um, subscribe to our uh, you can also subscribe to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash HW Entertainment. That again, Facebook.com slash HW Entertainment. You can also choose the social media site you want to listen to our show on. Uh, by clicking on info from our Facebook page, scrolling down through the About Me section and choosing Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube as the social media site you want to listen to our radio program on. We're streaming on all three major social networks, and we want to know what your opinion is. Do you believe that Miranda Cosgrove is overpromoted on our Twitter? You can use the hashtag well, Miranda Cosgrove overpromoted. I'd like to apologize uh, for saying that I believe she was overpromoted. I definitely think that she has been very dedicated, if anything out of what she's done. She's had the opportunity to work with countless numbers of celebrities, both for iCarly and off of Nickelodeon television. 
Uh, she's definitely come a long way, and she's definitely the one guaranteed star out of all the cast members of My Carly who has a profitable future. It was just the idea of her, you know, taking away from what other Nickelodeon stars could have potentially been when you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people trying out for roles for children companies like Nickelodeon day after day after day, as I alluded to here. Applause Entertainment, which can be found at applauseentertainment.com, are doing that kind of thing, trying to search for the next big star, and oftentimes they are successful in doing so. But when you have people like Miranda Cosgrove taking away from what these stars of the future could potentially be, I mean, really, you're at a loss. So that's why I was referring to Miranda Cosgrove as someone who was over-promoting here on YTV uh, in Canada. iCarly takes up anywhere from five to six blocks of television on a seven-day week basis, which is atrocious. Those uh, five blocks of television can be cut down from five to two, I believe, and at least three of those five blocks can be given to other Nickelodeon shows other than iCarly. Why is iCarly taking up so many television uh, slots? And why aren't slots being devoted to shows like Victorious and Big Time Rush more often? Here recently, YTV premiered Monday's Rock, and this is going to be good because you're going to get the chance to see iCarly, Victorious, Big Time Rush, and many other Nickelodeon shows on the same night. They have this new one called How to Rock, which looks very hospitable, and they've joined the Monday's uh, Rock lineup, so that's going to be fun for big fun weeknights. This is something that should have been done a long time ago, and I think that uh, iCarly taking up five blocks of television, five to six every day, sometimes even more if there's a marathon on Saturdays, um, it's it's being overpromoted way too much. And even with it being overpromoted, I think that iCarly's done a fantastic job. It was just the idea of the show being overpromoted that I didn't like. But I do wish Miranda Cosgrove all the best in the very near future, and I'm going to miss iCarly because iCarly was fun not only for me but for every fan of Miranda Cosgrove. We are following her on Twitter and we've joined our conversation on our Facebook page. Hashtag Miranda Cosgrove over promoted. Uh, you can also leave us a tweet on our Twitter. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and join the conversation on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash HW Entertainment. I want to know what you fans think. Do you believe that Miranda Cosgrove has a prospect for future? Do you think during her run on iCarly for six to seven seasons she was over promoted? I know a lot of you probably don't agree with my opinion on Miranda Cosgrove. I think we're going to get a very diverse amount of opinions here for this YouTube video celebrating the final season of iCarly. If you haven't seen the promo uh, for the final season of iCarly, it is on our Twitter. Scroll down through our Twitter archives to find it, twitter.com slash JonathanClark1. Follow us today if you aren't already, and join the conversation happening on our Facebook page. I'll also invalid the final season of iCarly promo at the bottom of our radio form. All you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom of our radio form upon clicking on radio from the navigational bar of our website. Don't forget to sign up for our media newsletter uh, by clicking on sign up for um, site updates and more by submitting your email address at the front of the website. I think that this is going to be, uh, you know, the first step in a positive direction for the cast members of iCarly. As I stated here earlier, there's no guaranteed success for any of them. Uh, but you really got to believe that they're doing the right thing, and this really is going to open up the door for future stars of Nickelodeon. If you haven't taken the opportunity to actually audition, uh, when these kind of auditions come your way, uh, definitely take advantage if you think you got what it takes, because honestly, uh, it's a tremendous opportunity that only comes along probably once in a lifetime. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable the process they go through. They literally jam about 700 children into a room and they pick the best of the best and I really think that you know with shows like Art Carly finally calling it quits after six to seven seasons uh, the door of opportunity it's an opportunistic time uh, the door has swung open and you gotta take advantage of it I'm your host Jonathan Clark inviting you to join the conversation on our Facebook page you can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Jonathan Clark 1 uh, you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash jonathanclark22. If you haven't seen the promo for the final season of iCarly, it's on our Twitter at twitter.com slash jonathanclark1. Hashtag Miranda Cosgrove overpromoted. If you're a fan who believes she was overpromoted and agrees with me, you can also sign up for our website's newsletter and occasional reminders by clicking on Submit Your Email Address for Site Updates and More at the front of the website. I'm Jonathan Clark. Thank you so much for listening. Congratulations to iCarly for producing over 100 shows and having an unprecedented run of six to seven seasons. I can't believe that this radio show has defeated them uh, by producing over 1,187 uh, programs. That number again, 1,187. And if you were to tell me we were going to surpass iCarly with 1,187 editions of the show approaching the 1,200 mark, 
I wouldn't believe it. iCarly's produced six to seven seasons. Over 100 editions of iCarly have come your way more than any children's show. Uh, we've done it. And I would like to congratulate iCarly on a phenomenal run and, uh, you know, keeping up with the best of them. Who would have thought it? You know, they recently lost a uh, favorite television show at the Kids' Choice Awards in 2012 to Victorious, and maybe that influenced Dan Schneider than more before to finally call it quits with iCarly. I don't know. Do you believe that Victorious winning favorite television show for 2012 influenced Dan Schneider to close the doors on iCarly finally after six to eight years? Um, it's unbelievable, you know, the position iCarly is in right now. Your last chance ever, as the promos detail, to see new episodes of iCarly and definitely take advantage of it. You can see the promo for the final season on our Twitter. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can join the conversation on our Facebook page. Hashtag Miranda Cosgrove over promote it. I want to know what you fans think, because in the end, your opinion is what matters. Payphone from Maroon 5 is on the way next. Okay, so on the brand new season of Victorious, there are some big changes going on. Ta-da! Like Tori and Jade might actually become friends. I admire how you're never afraid to say what you think. That's stupid, see? And as if that's not enough, you're not gonna believe what happens with Jade and Beck. Are Jade and I a perfect couple? Don't answer that! Come on! You come on! That's only a good sign. Oh, and check it out. Taking the girls on a road trip they'll never forget. How much longer to San Diego? According to this map, an inch and a half. So get ready for new music. Bigger laughs. Hello? I smell toast. And more surprises than ever. What up, girlfriend? Robbie? The new season of Victorious. We're hanging out together. No! Begin Saturday, January 28th at 8, only on Nick. If you thought the last series of iCarly was electrifying, you haven't seen anything yet. Join Carly, Sam, and Freddy as they take their no-holds-barred web show to electrifying new heights. With brand new stunts, brand new dance moves, and brand new love. Make sure you don't miss brand new episodes of iCarly coming soon to Nickelodeon.